Today we'll look at a plugin for Affinity Photo that allows you to add special effects to your images. You can start with an image like this and turn it into this. To achieve these effects, we'll use a plugin called Gimmick. Now I want to state right away that this plugin only works for the Windows version of Affinity Photo. Unfortunately, other platforms are not yet supported. I'm here on the Gimmick webpage. And if I scroll down, I can select Gallery, and you can see the different effects this tool can do. There's lots of painterly effects, pencil and etching effects, other interesting art styles, cubism, halftone patterns. In fact, there's over 600 filters that this tool supports. So let's look at how to install the plugin. I'll click Download here. And if I scroll down, you can see a section on the plugins here that includes Affinity Photo. Under Windows, next to Zip Archive, I'll click Stable here. And this will bring me to a GitHub repository. If you scroll down to Assets, you can see the different ways of downloading it. Now you'll want to know what type of machine and operating system you have before you download it. If you're not sure what your system is, then on Windows, down below, in the search bar, you can type about, click about your PC, and then you can see the different settings here. So I have a 64-bit operating system, x64 based. So that's this one here, I'll click it, and I'll download it into some folder. So here I've downloaded it onto my computer. Next, we want to copy the plugin into Affinity Photo's plugins folder. So the easiest way to find that is to open Affinity Photo. I'll click Edit, Settings, and then down here I'll select Photoshop Plugins. Now I can click Open Default Folder in Explorer. Now what I want to do is unzip this file here. So I'll right click and I'll say Extract All. And now it's my Plugins folder. I want to copy this Gimmick folder and the Gimmick Plugin 8BF file. So I'll drag them in here. And now they're in this Plugins folder. I'll close Affinity Photo and restart it. And now if I go back to that Settings menu, you can see that it's installed. Now one other thing you want to do is make sure Allow Unknown Plugins is checked. So make sure that is also checked too. So I'll close this. So now let's look at how to use Gimmick. And the important thing to understand is that it only works on a pixel layer. So I have this file open here. If I hover over this icon here, you can see that it's an image layer, not a pixel layer. So if I try to use the Gimmick plugin, I can access it through Filters, Plugins. If I select Gimmick, you can see everything is all grayed out. Let me right click on my image layer. I'll say Rasterize. And now it's a pixel layer. So if I go back to my Filters, I'll select Plugins, Gimmick, and now I can actually select it here. So I'll click this. And now the tool is open. Now the filters are also going to be destructive. So whatever filter you apply is going to permanently change your pixel layer. So let me cancel this. I'll press Control J just to duplicate my layer. So I'll call this one Original. I'll go to my Landscape here. And now let's go back to Gimmick. So I'll select Filters, Plugins, Gimmick. Now there's many options here. Currently there's 622. But there's a couple I like. Under Artistic, I like this one called Brushify. And that's what you're seeing here. So you can see the effect it's having. It's adding these paintbrush type strokes to our image. And there's all sorts of settings here you can adjust. You can change the smoothness, change the density. I don't know what all these mean, but it's just kind of fun to play with them and see what happens. The speed that it updates is definitely going to depend on your CPU. So we have something you like, you can click OK. And it does some processing. And now we have our final result. So this is before, after, before, after. Let's look at another image and filter. I'll apply the filter. There's one I like that has a comic book effect, this comic book here. So you can see if I scroll around, it creates cool line edges for your photos here. Now you'll notice here there's a zoom that lets you change the preview. By default, I can't zoom out anymore. But there's actually a setting that lets you do that. So if you click Settings down here, check this box to say Always Enable Preview Zooming. So I'll check this. And I'll click OK. Now I can zoom out more. And it gives you a warning when you do this. The results might not be totally accurate. And also it might take longer to update the preview. But in general, I think it's worth it. So I just enable it so I can zoom out and get a feel for how the whole image looks. So we have another category here, degradations that I like. I'll expand this. There's lots of cool glitch effects in this one, like chromatic aberration. So it's giving like staggered CMYK effect there. You can also do CRT phosphors. So it looks very much like an old TV. So I think that's a pretty cool filter. You can also take the output of filters and apply it to your images in unique ways. Let me copy this layer. I'll apply the filter to it. There's one I like in the black and white section called filaments. I'll select this. You can see it gives this really strange line art effect. So I'll click OK. Now you can change the blend mode. So I can set it to screen. And you can see it's overwriting my original image here. I could add a gradient map to it if I wanted. 
It's also a like gradient map. Maybe want some type of blue lightning. And turn down the opacity. So there's all sorts of combinations you can try. Now, what are some problems you might run into with this plugin? Well, first, make sure you download the right version for your operating system. Remember to check the settings in Windows if you're not sure which system you have. Next, make sure you have allow unknown plugins to be used checked in your plugins section. That was under edit settings, then Photoshop plugins. And also make sure you always have a pixel layer that you're working on and make sure it is selected. If you tried all that and you're still having problems, it just might not be supported on your system. To uninstall, just go back to your plugins folder, select the GMIC folder and the APF file and delete them. Make sure Affinity Photo is shut down when you do that. Have you used the gimmick plugin in Affinity Photo? Let me know about your experience down below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.